Brent, how you doing? I'm good, dude. A little sore. For those of you that don't know, we just finished up uh, another Tough Mudder event this year. Um, fun stuff. I ran the Tough Mudder half. He, him, and the rest of our team ran the Tough Mudder full. Um, how are your legs doing after your 10 miles? Um, um, not as bad as other parts of me. My knees are a little beat up. Yeah, he got a nice little scratch. It was really, really gross. Barbed wire. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, good stuff at Team ACP. We did it. We killed it. It was good stuff. Um, I want to talk about some questions that uh, have come up with the ICP over the years that we just want to fill you in on and um, hopefully make the registration process a little easier for you and your parents. So we're going to get these up on the website too so you can go in case we go too fast or in case you just don't like listening to us, we understand that too. So we'll get them up on the website but just, just stuff we run into year after year, same, we've compiled a list of questions. So first question is, who's the ACP open to? It's open to all students grades 6 through 12. Um, yeah, so open all students, grades 6 through 12. So we always get questions. I'm going to walk off screen. It's really bad habits. I always get questions about what should I bring to ACP? We're going to talk about this a two, couple different ways. Now, before he gets going, listen to this because people will forget stuff. This I, is really important. I forget stuff. Really, really important. Okay. It's October in Eastern Washington. Be a little cold. There are two options. It can be blistering hot and it can be incredibly cold. So, when you're packing for ACP, you need to pack for both. Now, where you're going to stay, that's kind of cold. So we encourage you, bring a really thick sleeping bag. If you have an air mattress, bring it. If you have a cot, bring for it. that, bring it. Bring something to separate you from the concrete ground you're going to be sleeping on, and you will be much warmer. Also, dress in layers. Your parents can explain that if you don't know what that means. These are long johns. If you've never seen long johns, these are the most iconic long johns. They even have butt flap. These are awesome. Guys, I go in and out of those all day long. So if you got long johns, bring long johns. Also, hey, check it out. My cool ACP sweatshirt. This is from a previous year. Bring your sweatshirt. Bring your coat. Bring any sweatshirt you yeah. have. Bring any sweatshirt you yeah. have. You're going to need it. Guys, it's, we get people every year who are freezing to death and so unhappy in the morning when they wake up, and that's just a horrible start of the way, day way to start the day. So bring warm gear to sleep in, as well as also to wear. Bring your Bible. Hey, this is a Bible event. We like to talk about God. Bring your Bible. Bring your Bible. It helps. Bring a pillow, because if you bring a warm sleeping bag and you don't bring your pillow, it's still not a good way to wake up. No, done it. Been there, done that. Box t-shirt, not fun. Hey, Dave. When I register online, what do I need? Okay. Register online or register through the mail. You do need to have things paid for. So if you're registering through mail, you'll need to send a check and a completed registration form. If you're paying via PayPal on our website at acputhrilling.org, you will need to print off your PayPal receipt and a signed copy of your registration form. Even the leadership team has to register. Everybody on the site has to register. They yell at me every year. Every day. <clears throat> yes, I yell at him every year for not registering. Um, the reason that is, is it protects you. Even if you're a, a, a chaperone coming for the first time, you are required to register to be at ACP. It, it, uh, we, we pay the venue per person who stays there. We also... Um, insurance. Insurance. Oh, thank you. You aren't uh, covered if you aren't there according to the paperwork. So. Basically, yeah. So if you, uh, if you would do us a favor, a huge favor, when you get to the registration desk, uh, if you're an adult, please register. Uh, kids, uh, students, you should have all that paperwork done before you get to Cider Press. If you have any questions on uh, registration stuff, please email registration at acpyouthrally.org or just let us know via Facebook or Twitter message and we'll get back to you ASAP. While you're waiting to register at the event or signing in, be nice to those ladies. They're awesome. They make our life a whole lot easier. So Awesome. So, um, you already said how we should dress. Well, let me touch more on that. Yes. Because I talked about the warm clothes, okay? So I talked about dressing for some warmth, and dressing the layers. If you don't know what that means, your parents can tell you that. If parents, you don't know what that means, I don't know. Your grandparents can tell you that. Yeah, someone your can, tell can tell you that. Ask somebody, they know. My dad can um, so. But it should be simple, right? We're coming to a youth event to worship God and grow closer to God. So if your school wouldn't allow it, don't wear it. Yeah, we're not. That, that's a really pretty safe bet. Most schools are pretty good about that these days. But if there's any question in your mind whether it's appropriate to wear, it's probably not. So save us all the headache. 
doesn't happen very often, but every couple of years we get somebody who yeah, wears too short of shorts or wears a t-shirt that's see-through and be cognizant. Also, you're going to need clothes that you're going to be outside playing games in because we're inside part of time. If you've been to ACP, we have game time. We're going to be outside running and you're going to get tired and sweaty and wet, so be cognizant of what you're wearing. Should be that simple, right? But it never hits. Yeah, agreed. So, um, no. what should I expect if I've never been to Cider Press before? Cider Press, yeah, a lot of fun. You're going to meet some new people, which is always a great thing. It's cool. Um, you're going to hear some Bible lessons. You're going to have some game time. And not just game time with your Xbox, because that's what I'm guilty of. Leave like, that at home. Can't leave. I have to leave my Xbox at home? Yes. Man. Oh, no life for you. No Xbox for me. Darn it. Anyway, um, it'll be game time when you're interacting with other folks uh, that you probably don't know. They're from around the Pacific Northwest. So take advantage of it. Make some lifelong friends at this event. We're going to have some awesome singing. We're going to have some some activities that go on during Saturday night, which are pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's an event that not only challenges you spiritually, but social, uh, uh, emotionally and socially. Uh, I get to see people that I've seen for years. I get to see, meet some new kids that come in. I get to meet new adults every year that have never been there before. And you get to see lots of people that you might only see at these events. Yeah, exactly. I'm still friends with several people. I met at Cider Press 15, 20 years ago. That's kind of how I met him. But anyway. So, so, Brent, I got a question. What? what should you not bring to Cider Press? Well, besides your Xbox, and that's great. Oh, I keep your Xbox. Because this happens every year. Hey, Almost don't be like my brother in law and bring airsoft guns. Oh man, that ruins my weekend. Yeah, I took him away from him. And nothing that can be considered as a weapon, guys. No paintball guns, no airsoft guns. I don't care that they're not technically deadly projectiles. They're weapons. It's not the time for it. It's not the place. I, me and Dave, we love to play games like that. But it's not the time for the place. Also, please leave your personal electronics alone. I know you're not going to leave your phone at home necessarily. I know some of you use your phone for your Bible as which, well. Which that's we, cool. We encourage that. Totally good with that. And. I won't pretend that we don't love to see some, see some tweets and some posts on Instagram, hashtag with ACP Youth Rally. Um, it's out there, check it out. So, you know, if you take pictures during the week, if you and your friends post them, tag us. We love to see that, that's awesome. But there's a time and place, guys. Don't, don't bring your drones. I know they're cool, don't bring them. Don't bring RC cars. Don't bring skateboards. I don't know, I can't believe I actually have to say this, but. No skateboards. No skateboards. Period. If you bring them, leave them in the truck or the van or whatever you Just can. don't bring them. Or don't bring them. <laughs> um, Somebody will end up bringing them. If you do, if you do bring any of this stuff with you, in. please leave it in the vehicle you came in. You don't need it as better for us. Even I, if I can't bring my Xbox, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, with that in mind, we don't like to be a downer. What should they bring to ACP? They should bring a positive attitude. They should bring the, the stuff that Brad mentioned earlier with uh, different with your clothing. You should bring a sleeping pad or a cot or something to sleep on. If you don't have one of the, this is something I had to learn because I almost got hypothermia when you're sleeping outside inside your press. Never a bad idea. Anyway, and um, you're starting out cold, guys. So it, it's it's already starting it's, to get cold. It's starting to get cold. Um, but uh, bring something to sleep on. It's, it's uh, air mattresses are not too terribly expensive. Um, so you take can, a yoga mat. Anything to put. Yeah, anything, this is from you in the concrete. Anything under you is a good thing. Um, bring your your camping gear. Uh, what Brent, Brent mentioned earlier. Yeah, but I'm uh, more interested in not the physical things. We've talked about the physical things. What should they bring? Bring a good attitude. That, that's the key part is, I know that some things that we, we may or may not do at Cider Press might be a little uncomfortable, like meeting new people. Try something. That's something we learned at Tough Mudder was uh, a question that was posed to us this last year at Tough Mudder Whistler was, when is the first time, when is the last time you tried something new for the first time? So. Take that challenge. That I'm, you know, I'm going to come to Cider Press and I'm going to sing with everybody. I'm going to come to Cider Press and I'm going to meet at least one person. For some of us, it's overwhelming because there's so many people. But take the challenge of going to meet one person. Um, I I like that. Oh, an open heart. Yes. You know, sometimes life gets us down. Sometimes it it, it kicks us to the ground, and we don't know how to get back up. It happens to us, it happens to the rest of our team, it happens to our kids, it happens to everybody, right? And take this opportunity to unplug from the world for a couple of days and really be encouraged and recharged and have your heart open to the message of Christ. 
We are really psyched this year, guys. We, uh, we got some great speakers lined up. I've known Jeff Hicks and Jeff Walling for a lot of years. I've had the privilege of working with both men. And they are so passionate about the Word of God and about their faith. And it's just contagious, guys. Come with an open heart and see what God's got in store for you because I guarantee you God's got something in store for you this coming kind of year. And like you said before, bring some appropriate clothes to go out and, and uh, play outside with. Um, bring some comfortable shoes. Yeah. Comfortable shoes are always a... I know some of us like flip-flops. Uh, those may or may not be really conducive to playing outdoor games. Um, I wear, I wear flip-flops, but you know, it's just me. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's about all I can think of top of my head. Um, so, question, um, if I'm a participant in of Press, if I'm a student in of Press, do I have to participate in everything? <laughs> well, that's a funny question. We get asked pretty much, I, I think, every year. Or at least every other year. I, I've been... I, I've You've been, been here for a while. In the last 10, 12 years, I think I've heard that in almost every side of Press. Oh, I've heard it. I've been here 18 years. Yeah, you've been here long enough. <laughs> so, I don't think that's been a year fun. goes by. This may be the most asked question in of Press. Yeah, um, we should have probably started with it's like number one. Yeah. Right? Participant at Cyprus is kind of self-defining, right? Guys, we have a full program put together for you this year. We're so excited about it. Dave and Zeke and I, we work on this stuff all year. I know you guys only see a couple days of it and some stuff we send out on the internet and some mailings. Our whole team is really working but on this. But we spend so. all year working on this and we are really excited from our speakers to our worship team, the games we got going on. It's a full middle deal, guys. We have this event planned and every part of it is part of the event. You, you can't just pick through and go, well, I want to take in this little bit and maybe this little bit, but I don't. That doesn't work. So. That, and here's the other really crazy thing. Wait, it's, it's, maybe, it's, it's not a spiritual buffet where I can get what I want? No, nah, you get the whole full, full meal deal here. Well, this may be the most important thing is, your actions at Cider Press affect those around you. So one of the great things Dave and I love about doing like the Tough Mudder is everybody out there wants you to finish. Everybody yes. out there is your teammate. Yes. Everybody out there will stop and help you. And in turn, you treat people that way. And Cider Press is the same way. This is an all-in event. Your attitude, the way you come to Cider Press, directly impacts everybody else around you. So you participating, maybe you don't like playing the game you play at the station at. Maybe you don't like playing how uh, someone played that, uh, kickball. And yeah. something. Maybe that's not your thing. But you know what? You playing that may really do something for someone else who loves doing that. They're getting to do that with other people and you're encouraging them by being a part of it. Maybe it's their first time to sign press. Maybe it's your first time to sign press. The way you act and being there, being a part of everything, helps everybody who's there to have a better time. So I know some of the things we do may not be your cup of tea or whatever the proper saying is for that these days, but I do love dodgeball. Guys, give it, give it a try. You know, unless you have a medical reason why you can't do it. We do ask that you try everything because it really is a full meal deal. And remember that question we asked from the Tough Butter experience that Brett and I have had. Uh, when is the last time you tried something new for the first time? Um, I can count story after story of students that are impacted because one person played a game with them, but they went and uh, they were having a hard time, so they went with that person and sat down at lunch and talked about it. Uh, be open to the idea of God showing you somebody who needs you in their life. Be, be willing and ready and able to have God work through you to connect with somebody who might need it. And that happens for participating in what we've got planned for it. So, Dave, I'm going to ask you a question, and it's the question you and I hate the absolute most. Oh, I don't hate it. <laughs> because it comes up every year, and this is a really simple mathematical thing, guys. Do you get a t-shirt for coming to Cider Press? Or I should say, how do you get a t-shirt coming to sign? If you register before the end of September, that is September 30th. If your registration, if you're going to mail your registration, can't talk to it. Mail your registration in. It's got to be postmarked by September 30th. Now, there's always grace. If I see a September, or if I see a October 1st on there, that's too late. It's what we have to do for our guy who makes our shirts, okay? Yeah. So it's gotta be postmarked by September. Guys, 30th. we would love to give everybody a t-shirt. 
But now, the reality is we have to have them printed. We do have to have them printed. So it's got to be postmarked by September 30th. Okay? Uh, that's just business rules, the way we got to handle it. If you purchase a registration online, you need to purchase it by September 30th. Because October 1st, I make the call to the guy, the, the local company that makes the shirts, to order shirts. Okay? Um, will there be any on site? If there's extras, we can sell them to you. Uh, if there are any extras, uh, that's really early on. It's like very, plan it's on. very, it's very far and few between. Uh, but uh, yeah, you've got to register by the end of the month to get a free T-shirt. Uh, that's pretty much. Sorry guys, it's just it, it's, yeah. we 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 want to keep the cost as low as possible yeah. for you guys. And if we print off a bunch of extra T-shirts to have on site and try and sell, and we've actually had that happen. Before. We've had it happen where Cider Press then has a bunch of shirts that didn't sell. That cuts into our budget for next year. Now, I wouldn't say this for, okay. cha for chaperones, okay? Uh, for chaperones, if you want a t-shirt in addition to the registration cost for you, it's an additional 10 bucks. Um, that's what it costs us to print the t-shirt, so we're just passing that savings on to you. Uh, but again, you need to register before the 30th of September so we can get all that into the shirt count and get it off to you, okay? So 30th of September, end of the month, and be good at that. If you have any questions on that, again, Email registration at acpyouthrally.org and we'll get you filled in on, on the rest of the details. Someone's going to be unhappy. And I, I, I saw, I, I've, gone, I've gone without a shirt before, so it's all. I usually don't get a shirt. Yeah. Because so. um, I don't register. On so, time. That's does. why. He registers at the event like the day of. Anyway. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Go ahead. The last okay. thing. Any special food needs? Yes. Food needs? This is a very important thing. So, right, we understand that some people have unique food needs. Some people are on diets medically or, well that's usually the reason, some people are on a diet because of a medical issue or whatever and health concerns and we understand that and we are very sensitive to that need as, you know, Dave and I try and be pretty picky about what we eat sometimes. Sometimes. Wow. There was that burger yesterday. Yeah, anyway. that was, that was <laughs> no story. Tough letter. Tough letter joke. <laughs> but, we can't do that guys, we, we can't plan for that for you. We would love to be able to do that, but the cost would be astronomical. We would have to charge you guys a lot. three times more than we charge you to do that. So we have a set menu, it's what we have, there's no exceptions. If you have special dietary needs, okay, medical dietary needs, not because you're a picky eater, not because you don't like certain things, because I know I don't like certain things, but that's what I eat when I'm there anyway. Okay? If you have a medical necessity for special dietary food, bring a cooler with food for the weekend. We will do our best to help store that and keep that cool. We have an ice machine on site so we can keep rotating we have, we have ice. Freezer. And we have a freezer. We may or may not have room in it, but we will help you keep it cold and keep it good for the week. But you're going to have to cover that, guys. I'm sorry. We just, we just can't do it. It's a business issue. So, so one, of the, one of the things as well as on that subject is our ladies and guys who are in the kitchen are working nonstop, consistently throughout the weekend to feed you. Um, so when you're through that line and you're getting your food, do us all a favor, do them a favor, and give them a smile and a hello and thank them for being there. Yeah. They work tirelessly from Friday morning until midday on uh, Sunday. Sunday to get food to you and to the staff. So make sure you thank them, make sure that you know that you appreciate their efforts and that will go a long way. Um, as, like Brett said, if you've got special dietary needs, you got to cover that uh, and we'll do our best to help you uh, get your food stored. So. The last thing, it's not our list, we were going to do a top 10 things, was guys, come, and we already said it, come with a great attitude. And get ready to have some fun. There are so many people involved with this who are there for you to have a great weekend. We have so many teams working on us, hopefully you're part of our 30 days of prayer, hopefully you've seen those. We've been praying with intent every day through September. We're going to continue through the rest of September praying with intent. You can catch that on Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube and see what we're praying about that day. But there are so many people involved in what goes on with this. And they're all there because we want you to experience God in an awesome way. So when you're when you are in Cider Press, if you do have a question while you're at the event, feel free to grab any adult on site. Especially, you know, us that are around that you recognize our faces. Usually, fine. Usually in the sound booth. Um, but grab an adult, um, ask them where Dave, Brent, Zeke, Josh, Jerry, ask where somebody else is if they don't have the answer. Have an adult go find you an answer. 
um, adults, be ready to, to help out with uh, finding us and getting the answer to any questions that crop up. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we're all there to help you. We're all there in the name of God for you to have a great time and be spiritually encouraged. So if you got a question, grab an adult and get your question answered. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We hope this answers some of your questions ahead of time. We'll post this stuff also on the website so it's easy to find and for you guys. And our Facebook page. And on the Facebook page, we got a lot of resources for you this year. Come check them out. Hit us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, YouTube and the website. We're, we're around. We're easy to find. Thanks for spending the time with us. We can't wait to see you guys. Well, we're down to three weeks now. Three weeks. Three ACP. weeks. We'll see you ACP 2017.